This makes me nervous. Why? <laughs> yeah, don't don't, don't be nervous. I'm so nice and I like you, so I wouldn't be mean. <laughs> Your fans love you, and they would attack me if I was mean to you, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lady Genevieve. I am here with Jon Henrik. You guys have been begging me to do an interview with Jon Henrik, and now it's happening. So just as a way to break the ice, I thought that I would show you um, some fan tweets. You don't have to read them, I'll read them, but I'll show you. So this one, it says, Fun fact, the Northern Lights did not exist before Jon Henrik sang Norgren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's actually true, but that's how fan tweets work, is they say very big things okay, okay. that mean way more than what is actually true. And this one says, I'm just saying Jon Henry could stand on stage in silence for three minutes and I would still say he's the greatest thing to happen to the Melfest stage in years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was beautiful. Right? Uh, yeah. So how does that make you feel? Do you know that people love you this much? No, I'm not... Uh, I don't know so much about it because I'm trying to uh, focus on this uh, competition. So. Yeah. But... Uh, I feel it in the energy. So why have you not released more music? Because it seems like you get very quiet when Mellow is not happening. And people keep writing to me, they're saying, ask him when we're gonna get an album, and they really want more music. Yeah, it's because I, uh, I work a lot with different kind of jobs, and uh, I don't have time for it. Mm. Uh, and I have many things to uh, work with myself because of my life story, mm -hmm. trying to find stuff off, out and uh, and uh, then bring music to the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need to be done first with myself, I think. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes, I do. I play a lot of instruments. Uh, I play piano and uh, Indian flute, flute, say in the flute and uh, accordion mm -hmm. and uh, guitar and uh, drums. Uh, I think I can play almost everything <laughs> if I if I have it on. Yeah. Yeah. If you work on it. Yeah, I teach really fast. I also had a fan question come to me from Twitter where they were asking about your clothes and what you wear yeah. because it seems like when you come to Mellow, you wear very traditional clothing. So why do you choose to wear those things when you're performing? I have the semi clothes because of uh, it's important to show uh, to show it uh, that I am very uh, uh, connected to it. Yeah, connected, but mm. uh, but also it's important to show the, the semi uh, cult uh, culture. culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, so. I think it's why I have yeah. that on. Well, because one time when you performed that, I think it was Lisa Berry. Yeah. You were not wearing semi-clothing, you were wearing a tank top. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's because I, I wanted to show that semi people don't need to have that on mm -hmm. to do joke. Yeah. <laughs> because some people think that Sammy's typical semi have that. Mm -hmm. And I want to show that it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. You are originally from Colombia. Yeah. So I was curious, do you feel like more Latin people pay attention to you because of this? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. Uh, it was really cool bef because I, uh, I go to Colombia and have a concert there. And uh, the people uh, recognize me there. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, I don't understand how they can, uh, under, yeah, how they can do that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I live in the mountains and I don't <laughs> know so much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's cool. You probably don't know this, so I'll, I will tell you. Uh, Spanish viewers, there's a lot of them that watch Melody Festival in, and many of them have written to me, and they call you Juan Enrique. 
Oh. So instead of Jon Henrik, they made it Spanish. And they're saying <laughs> Juan Enrique. <laughs> That's beautiful. Because right? I, I like uh, Enrique Iglesias yes. very much. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen to his music a lot. So, yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was nice to hear that. Because I don't remember what the tweet was, but some I tweeted something about you and somebody replied to me and they said, Viva Juan Enrique. And I went, ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of strong feelings and emotions yeah. about you. When you're writing music, do you like to start the writing process on the instruments that you play? Yes, uh, I always start with the piano mm. and I play the melody and then it can bring me to tears or feel happiness and, uh, or something and then I write it down, mm -hmm. what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. But it's Joik, in Joik music I don't write it down. Right. Because I have all my feelings and songs in here. Mm -hmm. But if, if I go to write a song in Swedish, I need to write it down. Right now, do you write music both ways, in Swedish and Joiking? Yeah, you can say that. So if you were to make an album, would you have both on the album? Both types? Yeah, of yeah, we mm -hmm. think so. We're going to make more music like this one we have made mm. in the festival. Yeah. To trying to uh, do, uh, do more with the Joik. And, uh, show it that the Sami can be all kind of music. When you're writing, is it always coming from a place of wanting to represent Sami people or sometimes do you like to write songs that are just about you as a person? It's both, I can say it's about a lot of music I write is about myself and my life story and also about the Sami culture and the indigenous people. Mm -hmm. all over the world and uh, also uh, stories I have listened to from other uh, people who write into me and tell their life stories and I feel it in my heart I want to give them something and give them hope and, and write it down mm -hmm. like a poem and then I make a song of it. Also, I noticed you posted on Instagram about, I think it's Norway, their song that won their national selection, that yeah. was also Sammy. So what do you think of that song and that entry? I love that song, uh, Keino. Uh, and the, the funny is that that group come to this movie festival and, uh, and see me now. Uh, oh. yeah. So they will support this too. So. Our dream is to see each other in Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. of course, because it has been so amazing if, if uh, the Sami uh, people can be at the same spot, the mm -hmm. same place in this big thing. Yeah. yeah it's, it's so more than only music, it's, it's personal, very amazing if that happens. Have you met them before? Yeah, I have. Uh -huh. One of them uh, is a friend of mine, Fred. If they're going to be in Stockholm, are they going to vote for you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, otherwise you can be like, what the hell, bro? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> support the people, the culture. Yeah. <laughs> like, you have to vote for me. I'm the show opener. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe they do. I, I, I think they will. You also changed labels. What made you decide to do that? Try something new and um, I don't know exactly, but I want to try something new. Right? Mm -hmm. new, new, new things and so, and I like uh, Warner, very good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, nice people. Well, you know, you have to be happy with who you're working with, <laughs> yeah. otherwise it's not going to work. Yeah, but some work I have had, they are not good, so. Mm. Yeah. This is I'm really glad I chose it. With your Melody Festival in performance, the one that we saw at the semi-final, you're moving a lot more on stage than your other Melody Festival in entries. Yeah. Was this something you asked for or did somebody else tell you, hey, you should move more on stage? No, everything comes from my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this time I'm going to move more. Ooh. Yeah, and because I feel so happy when I stand there and sing it and enjoy it and it feels more alive. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm I'm home and uh, with the Rangers with me I feel uh, 
it's like a dream and mm -hmm. it's so amazing to, to stand there. Mm -hmm. I feel free and I can almost feel wings on my back. Yeah. Fly away. Oh, we love that. <laughs> it's cool. Because the reindeer in your number, that's one of your reindeer, right? It's or a, is it just a, a uh, random video? It's a friend of mine, but I, but I have made uh, the movie of it. Oh. But it was really hard to do it because <laughs> you don't want to copyright. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Oh my God! You should have <laughs> see. You should have brought someone to film you filming the reindeer, and yeah. then post that as like a behind the scenes thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really funny because the reindeer run that way, and I run that way. <laughs> I don't know how much. <laughs> uh, many hours we. Oh, work with so it. it took a long time. Yeah. Wow. But that's good because you're committed to your art. Like you care, you have a vision. Yeah, mm -hmm. never give up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love that. On stage during your performance, there's a very specific moment where the camera comes in really close to you and you smile. Yeah. Do they tell you when to do that to make it match on camera or are you just already smiling and they catch it well? I don't know, but something happened to me when I'm stand there, standing there and it feels like my soul wants to go to every uh, body in the, in the crowd mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, heal them. Yeah. And I do it with my eyes and uh, I don't know what, what happened, but mm. something happening in there. Because it's a really beautiful moment, you know? It's like the camera connects to you and you're smiling. And because when you normally do Melody Festival and you're so serious and you're yeah. putting all this emotion into the song, which is not a bad thing, it's just different, you yeah. know? But this time it's like you're dancing, you're moving, you're having fun, and yeah. you're smiling, it's great. And maybe it's because of that dance when I feel more com comfortable yeah. to dance. Yeah, everybody can tell. Like you're. Yeah. You look much more comfortable on stage. Yeah, yeah it's good. So, uh, yeah, this time I'm going to move a little bit more. Ooh, yeah. we love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, what are you working on for what you're going to do after Melody Festival? In? What can people look forward to? A new CD, uh, of course. Mm. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, a tour. Ooh, we love that. Yeah. And. Uh, if I win, I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> after that. But I have big dreams, mm -hmm. of course. Why do you not do more music videos for your music? Because I think you're underestimating how important you are to your music, yeah. connecting to people. Because like for me, I mean, I'm just one person, but I don't normally listen to Yoi King. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I don't hear it a lot. Yeah. So I don't think much about it. But when it's you on stage performing, it's not just the music, it's connecting to you as yeah. the artist and as the performer. Yeah. So I think music videos are very important to get your music out to more people so then they can see you and connect to you. Yeah, I have to think about that. Uh, and I, uh, I want to do more videos. Yeah. But it's all about uh, the uh, Warner to help me with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, <laughs> it can be really cold in my place. <laughs> I want to do something uh, in my home, you know, ah. in the mountain, and uh, it's not so easy. But you could get maybe Sammy filmmakers to come help you with your videos or something. I'm sure there's got to be somebody up there. Yeah, of course. Uh, but it's really good you say, tell me this. Yeah. Because I have think about it. Uh, thought about it. Yeah, oh yeah. And people want to see you more, you know, because a new Jon Henrik song is good, but a new Jon Henrik song with you on video performing it is great. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just the truth, Jan Henry. Okay, okay. <laughs> what has been the most surprising part of this experience compared to your other times in Mellow? Mm, maybe I feel that this song have 
uh, maybe more more listeners maybe mm. and and that can be because of Swedish yeah and uh, it's uh, different from the other songs we have done mm-hmm. on stage there mm-hmm. so I believe it's because of that last night you posted a picture of yourself on Instagram which one with a face mask on <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you do those often no no I don't <laughs> or I mean the, the mask yeah sometimes I do yeah that's good I'm very into skincare so I was very excited I was like yes it's winter it's cold he's taking care of his skin he's gonna be on television he knows this is important yeah yeah yeah, yeah uh, there was a time I don't care about myself and my skin or something I Mm. But I think that uh, I needed to to change lifestyle when I was uh, st- starting with music and mm-hmm. television and yeah stuff yeah. like that. I needed to take care of myself. Yeah, of course, because it's not just about looking good so people think you look good. It's so that you feel good. You yeah. Know? It's it's a much deeper thing. Some people think it's shallow. I don't think it's shallow. No, we, you need to work with your inside and your outside. Yes, we can talk about skincare. Like, <laughs> exchange, be like, oh, what are you using? Like, oh, I'm using this. Like, oh, yeah, that's really good. I really like that. So, um, I also wanted to ask you just one funny question after all the real questions. Um, do you know what the expression thirst trapping means? Thirst trapping. Thirst trapping. So what that means is if you post a lot of shirtless pictures on social media okay. because you know you look good and you want people to know that you look good, you're thirst trapping them. So it's like you're trapping them into being thirsty over you. So oh. I don't know if you know that you're doing that, but somebody was uh, saying on Instagram or no on Twitter, they were like, I like that Jon Henrik thirst traps, but I I don't want him to get trapped into not making an album. And I thought that was funny. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't uh, I don't uh, think like that. Uh, thirst trap. <laughs> I had never heard about that. <laughs> Because <laughs> you, you do it a lot, you and Henrik. You okay. Both, I remember one time, because I've been following you on Instagram, you did an Instagram live, and it was just you at the gym, and you were like, flexing. And I was like, he wants to know that, he wants us to know that he's working hard. It's funny. <laughs> it's all jokes. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, before I have a uh, other account on Instagram, and there I made only training pictures, and stuff I eating for training and oh yeah because you're really into fitness and like boxing and stuff. Yeah. yeah before I I uh, thinking about to go into bodybuilding mm. but uh, I stopped with it because it was too hard to you need to really think about everything you're eating and yeah training every day and, mm-hmm. and uh, before this uh, body was uh, like this um, in school and everybody say tell me that you are nothing and you're so tiny and mm. and uh, I get really uh, beating up for it mm. and I and I felt that uh, I'm going to build myself up uh, and show them that I can be something Mm-hmm. Uh, and many people uh, I see on Instagram who follow me, uh, they send me so much stuff that they have problems with de- their bodies, and uh, I tell them how I build me up, and then I posting pictures of it, uh, and uh, I don't. <laughs> uh, the meaning was not to. <laughs> trapping. It's just a joke. Don't worry about it. I'm only making jokes. <laughs> but it's but it's this was, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, we want you to have fun, have a good time. Yeah. So, uh, with that being said, would you like to say anything to all of your fans to that camera over there? 
I want to say so much. Uh, I want to thank you for everything uh, uh, and that you believe in me and uh, it's make me really emotional because I have uh, st- struggling all my life to be something and uh, now I am uh, on this again and uh, and maybe make it to Tel Aviv <laughs> if my dream come true. Uh, but I, I am like uh, I haven't been here without you all out there, and uh, I really appreciate that. And thank you very much. Uh, I love you all. <laughs>